Okay, here's a really quick first look at my KTM uh, 690 that I got out of uh, Mexico City. And uh, I got it registered with Sonora license plates. I've got a Mexican motorcycle driver's license now. And um, it's uh, pretty sweet. A lot of subtle changes, five more horsepower. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, an extra half gallon of gas on this side. We're on the tank. You can see how much wider it is right here. The, um, uh, the tires are a Midas uh, E07. These are, this is a European model that they shipped to Mexico. So it doesn't have the full knobs like we do on, in America. Um, still looks like it has the same heavy silencer. The, um, there's a tool kit under here. And a, a toolbox. Got a little piece of goober on there. Uh, the seat is new. I may not need a new seat. It's got this USB port right here. See that? Woohoo! One less thing to to mount for your phone. Um, it's got this uh, this uh, clutchless shifting mechanism where if when you uh, when you lift up, it automatically the engine cuts out a little bit uh, to to take the harshness off the shift into the upshift. And when you go to downshift, when you push down, a sensor detects it, and it um, it, it takes a break and starts increases the RPM, so it matches the uh, uh, the RPM of the gear set that you're going into, so there's no herky jerky stuff on it. Shift plate is bigger. Um, I don't see where I'd be able to mount a radiator guard. There's just no room, and this part is really stiff. That is mounting it. It's got a lithium ion battery. Um, one inch more travel front and rear um, ABS and traction control on the top which you can turn off automatically you don't have to buy a dongle now uh, it appears it's got LED tail lights on the rear that would be nice and bright LED signal lights um, you can see a little bit more protection on the skid plate than what was before um, I think we're gonna dig it. Uh, we're currently in Mexico at our condominium. So look forward to more videos. Got this really cool shirt from uh, Hyperbikes in Mexico City. And, uh, and of course, uh, as generally typically happens, when I start working on a bike, I always break something. So as it turns out, these mirrors, which I was trying to adjust, you see where it's a uh, got it's all galled there so the mechanic when he had mounted this thing to ship it down to me evidently tightened it the wrong way these are left-handed threads and i didn't know that and he probably didn't know that and um, so consequently in trying to adjust it for shipping uh, up to me when he put it in the truck to get the mirrors out of the way um, he twisted the threads off so um, my perfectly brand new bike isn't quite so perfect anymore um, i don't think